Okay, running some tests here. That's a fluky fluke. If you look real closely, you can see my, hair, my awesome hairdo. But uh, I'm not measuring amps, I'm just looking for volts. Which, and hertz, which is down there. So, I'm just gonna dialogue everything. I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing it, and then uh, we're gonna go back and look at the results on the computer. off of uh, Eco. Okay, the next test is hitting the heavy uh, motor starting load. And don't mind that noise in the background. It's just uh, another generator test I'm doing. It's not part of the show. So... Let's take these results inside and take a look at them. So, here we have the graphs of the voltage. I didn't capture the amperage because I'm just too fucking lazy. Anywho, it's so we're averaging 123.9 uh, volts. You got a little ripple there from when it uh, cha speed change. <clears throat> we go over to here to the droop. And it drops down a shit ton, but then again, it's voltage shedding because it's going under 58 hertz. Um, and uh, it climbs back up to, you know, it drops a sheds a volt from no load to full, being under almost full load. And I was interested about that bump. Oh, it bumps up to like about 125 volts. But these are the two windows and going from echo mode to uh, right there. Those two were from echo mode to full load. This one over here is from when echo mode was off to full load. So it's 93 volts, so it's that's way better. And then me turning it to echo mode again and shutting it down. Um, Not much show because I didn't record any amps. But here's a frequency on balance. So it's right there at 60 hertz. Then it bumps up to 60.05, uh, 60 which is pretty good. And then it bumps up back up to 60.1 for a little bit, then goes back down. Um, yeah, I did, I did harmonics. There's amperage that we didn't. Uh, there's frequency. Work again. I tell you what, man. So for a cheap ass uh, inverter generator, the frequency control is damn amazing but then again it's a it's an inverter generator so frequency is going to be not an issue i mean what for i think we got maybe got one event at 60.1 hertz um and why frequency is important to you is because if you have a, a gener little portable generator running at 62 63 64 hertz 
uh, instead of 60 hertz or 61 hertz, you'll actually your clocks will actually run faster. I know, weird. Um, here's the average for the voltage. See it dip down to 65 hertz, and then you got these are just from uh, startup and shutdown. Uh, let's see maximums. Yeah. Minimums. So. And these are all in 200 mil 200 millisecond uh, sampling periods. So I try to go super fine resolution to help you guys out. So. All right, well, uh, there she is. I mean, I only had the, the our freaking, the, the, my company's data logger for a day just to get this done really quick. And like I said, I it I spent maybe 45 minutes on, then I had to book it. All right, so we're in the shop. Here's the sine wave. The AC sine wave coming off of the beater. We're on echo mode right now. That's pretty damn good, I must say. Let's go back to So here's the harmon total harmonics of it right now. 2.3 percent. a baseline off of a, a crappy portable that, that is a Kragen, a Kragen special I believe. Stand by. Alright so we have the good old champion, uh, stand by champion here. We're getting almost every set of modern distortion. Check out the sine wave. Freaking disgusting or what? Hey, if you don't think it's just that guy, hold on. Check this out. Thirty-one. So you get what I mean about um, harmonics. It's basically all the noise that's in the sine wave. Um, I'll tell you right now, most electronics don't give a shit about harmonics uh, if they have a good power supply. But like, you know, some cheaper LED lights, you know, something with like a half bridge rectifier might see that and, you know, blow their wad freaking out. Um, I mean, I read a view on this guy that saying that it has a, a noisy output. I think it's pretty much, it's one of those things where it's, you hope you got, hope to God you get a, a Tuesday or a Thursday unit. You don't get a freaking, uh, a, a Monday, Wednesday or a Friday unit, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. And one thing I want to leave you with is. Basically, best way to know if I think I think for the price point, this is good. Um, has a couple th like I said, had a couple of things that annoyed the shit out of me. I didn't like, but I'll deal with it. <clears throat> um, and it's like if you're going RVing cross country, staying at you know random places, and you want to get two of these to parallel together, I would say. Uh, Go splurge, get two Hondas. 
number one is reliability. Number two is there are more recognized parts everywhere. This is more like um, weekend camping and you're, like I said, if it doesn't start, it's not the end of the world. You're okay. You could, you'll figure something out kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I'd trust this in a pow for a power outage. Um, you know, I th personally, I think I got one of the good units because it seems like they're e these units are either dead on arrival or they're, uh, they last and everybody loves them. So, you know, that's so another thing again, not getting, getting a Honda is that you're not getting, um, the quality. So, but it leads back to the second, next point is that if you have a Honda and the inverter dies in it, that's 400 bucks. You could buy one of these with that 400 bucks. So it's like one of those things where it's six and one and a half dozen the other. So pretty much it's up to you. Um, but if you are going camping and need a clean sine wave or cleaner sine wave, I should say not clean sine wave, cleaner sine wave, I'd get that. Um, versus running one of those portables. Um, with that said, uh, and, and ending to this, um, I tried running my other, one of my other, um, when the power was out, I was trying to run some stuff on one of my, um, other generators and my UPS just said, no, I'm not accepting that power. That's power is disgusting. So I haven't tried this yet. So, you know, hold on a second. All right, just tested it. Yeah, my inverter accepted it, or my UPS, excuse me, accept, accepted it. Had no problem with the power. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's, you know, I'm going to go out and start and say it. I like it. Um, for the hunt, like for a um, hunting camp or something like that, um, Somewhere where, like, you know, having the lights and everything, you know, a little more modern, uh, uh, modern touches to it. Not so bad. And, but, uh, I'm going to come back to saying one thing. One thing else is please don't people compare. I hate people comparing these to Hondas. I know I've been comparing it this whole time to Hondas. The thing is, is that a Honda is like the Rolls Royce of generators. Now these these series generators. They make a good product. Everybody loves them. Everybody knows them. Um this is like the Hyundai. You know how they're coming trying to come out with that luxury line bullshit where like, you know I think they're trying to mock Mercedes, but anyway. It's one of those things where it's this will get you down the road. It, but it might not last as long. Um, and you might have some fewer, more, a little more issues on it, uh, with it. Um, you know, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to call and see how much that inverter is, uh, to get a brand new one right now. So I'll give you, give me a second. So power coming out of my wall is two point, has 2.2, uh, percent distortion. But look at that sign wave. Just so beautiful. Anyways, you guys have a great day.